Hello everyone, I'm James Manus, Mount Juliet Vice Mayor and District 2 Commissioner. I had gotten some questions today uh, from a few people for emails and phone calls asking about the Planning Commission tomorrow night. And don't normally get a lot of calls about what goes on or doesn't go on at the Planning Commission. But this was one time where I, it, it just seemed a little bit more so than the norm. So I thought I'd just do a quick video here to address some of the things that that are on there and what's going on. And tomorrow night, the big the big thing on the agenda, I think that's driving a lot of the questions, is the new Mount Juliet High School that's uh, being proposed for the site. And the, got some questions ranging from what's the city doing with the school, when's the city going to build the school, well, first of all, the city doesn't build schools. It's not the city doesn't operate a school system. It's a county school system. A lot of those decisions are made by the Board of Education. The funding is going through the county commission. The place where the city comes in, into play here is is this is the school itself will be built inside the city limits with the exception of 1.4 acres of it. And that's one of the things that will address the city commission. But just to let everybody know what's going on uh, currently, the the school itself, the property has been approved through the Board of Zoning Appeals, and this happened last week, actually, where well, they got the approval there for the conditional use. In short, an easy way to say that is they effectively proved that it was going to be a school, so the zoning conditional appeals were met there. They got the approval, so now it moves on to the Planning Commission. That'll happen tomorrow night. And there at the Planning Commission, what's going to be considered is, does the school meet city ordinance for the requirements for the design aspects of it? And all indications are that it does. Would that I don't expect to see any issues there with it meeting it. They will also be doing a recommendation on whether the whether the city should accept the annexation of not the property itself. Let's take a quick look at the property. It's not a question of annexing the property. The vast majority of this land here off Lebanon Road here at Highway 70, just across from First Freedom Bank, vast majority of this was probably annexed back in before 2001 it was taken into the city under annexation around that time frame and the vast majority of this this track that they're planning on building on it does lie in the sea limits now except for the exception of 1.4 acres so the that will get approval or a negative or positive recommendation on the annexation by the planning commission and go forward to the board of commissioners at that point i'll be asked to as a commissioner ask at least to to vote on whether the annexation annex those 1.4 acres at the request of the owner, which is the Board of Education, to bring that inside the city. Now, this is kind of the the, the tricky part about the, the thing is, is is whether or not we annex it or not really doesn't have a major impact on whether they move ahead on the construction of the school. What what we would risk doing here if we did not annex it is you'd have a large, a large parcel here, 70, 80 acres of that, and 1.4 acres of that would lie outside the city, so it would create a little confusion for emergency services on that. So regardless of how you feel or don't feel about the site location, it just makes sense from my standpoint to go ahead and annex that. But that's uh, to simply ask the question, what's going on with the Planning Commission? That's what will be heard tomorrow night is um, the big issue, of course, is that the, the high school on there, and that will be heard tomorrow night. And they'll be making the recommendation on the annexation of those 1.4 acres. The rest of it's already in the city. It's been approved through the conditional use. And the site plan will be reviewed and, and going over there. That won't answer the questions about the funding of the school. That'll be answered. Board of Education and County Commission will weigh in on that and time frames for the building itself. But that's what will be going on tomorrow night. Just want to catch everybody up. And hopefully that clears up some confusion as to what the city's role is in this. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Contact me at any time. Again, thanks for letting you letting me uh, serve you. And feel free, follow the page, and try to keep up with some of the things that's going on here. We'll try to put some more updates out as we get questions on what's going on. And again, thank you for letting me serve, and feel free to contact me at any time if I can help. Thanks.